hey guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be about this hair okay it's fine <laughs> so yeah um i hope you guys enjoy the video and yeah i'm just gonna get straight into it This is what the wig looks like straight out of the package. It's the, a royal blue 10 inch bob. It's a 13 by 4 frontal. It comes pre-plucked and the baby hairs are already like pulled out and everything for you. So that's very convenient. The wig comes with an adjustable strap, which I love. It has three combs at the front, two on the sides and basically one in the front. And then one comb at the back. The wig also has these adjustable bra straps, is what I call them, and then some lace at the back. So in my package, I also received these wig caps and a thank you card. The next step you wanna do is place your wig cap onto your head and spray your got to be glue free spray or whatever free spray you like to use on top of where your lace line is, your lace line your natural hairline is, and then you just wanna blow dry that on a cool setting. We use cool because it dries faster and it won't make everything sticky. So after you have finished the blow drying process, the wig cap is ready to be cut. And what you wanna do, I basically cut down the middle and then I pull it back so it reaches the beginning of my natural hairline. I also cut the, like a little tab where my ear is just to make everything fit comfortably. Plus you don't want your ears covered up on wearing a wig and this is gonna be glued down. So make sure you do that. So the next step is to take an eyebrow razor and just cut that across your hairline. The reason you use an eyebrow razor is because it gives like a jagged line. It doesn't give like a straight line and the jagged, rigid, whatever line makes it look like a natural hairline. And I'm just going to repeat the same process on the other side. It also looked like I was about to cut myself, but I didn't. So be very careful when you're doing this. So I'm just removing that excess glue. applying some foundation um, I use the foundation that's the same color as my skin so you can have like a hundred percent milk because we want everything to be melted so use the foundation the same color as your skin So next the wig is ready to be applied. So I'm just going to throw this bad baby on and get ready to start customizing the lace. So when you're cutting the lace off, you're basically going to do the same process that you did when you cut the wig cap. So I like to start in the middle and cut with scissors and then cut with the eyebrow razor.
So as you can see, I left a little bit of lace on and what I should have done was put the wig onto the mannequin head and I would have avoided this, but I ended up cutting off too much lace right here and I tried to stay as calm as possible, you guys. <laughs> but this was, I mean, accidents happen. It's okay, you just keep pushing forward. Um, this is an easy hide. It's easy to hide this, so, but especially for one because I'm doing a middle part, so. Yeah, I did on the other side take the wig and put it on a mannequin head. So. Now I'm going to be getting ready to glue this down. I'm just trying to pull out the baby hairs and position the wig to see where everything is going to lay. So I'm gonna take this ghost bun glue and just apply a layer on to the side. I like to do my hair in sections because the glue glue the glue kind of dries pretty fast, so it, it's better to do it in sections versus doing your whole head at once. So right now it's just gonna promote my Instagram. You know, go ahead and follow me, Alicia Sherrill. While I'm letting the glue dry, I just check my Instagram, respond to comments and things like that. You know respond to messages so i have some pretty good photos and reels on instagram so go ahead and follow me So the glue is pretty much dry and I'm going to add a second layer just for some extra hold because it's hot outside and you don't want to get to sweating and everything be lifting up. So I'm just going to add this for extra layer and I put a little bit too much, but I'm basically going to do this for the middle and the other side of my head, repeat the same steps and I did lose a little bit of footage, but um, yeah, I'm just going to let the video play from here on out.
so that's it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it please don't forget to like comment and subscribe letting me know what you like to see next i mean comment letting me know what you like to see next and i'll see you all in the next video